Hey YouTube, this is Archangel and I'm going to be giving you a product review of the Reef Keeper light that I have mounted right here. Currently I have it set to display my pH. It's 7.9493. Uh, you can see it gives you the the day it is, the time, and the pH. But uh, for now let's scroll through the options that it has. Um, we'll go up if you have an ORP uh, probe, it'll display the ORP right here. Um, let's see if I can get this to focus a little better. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, I have uh, renamed all my channels, or most of my channels. Um, through the use of the computer software that I'll demonstrate to you later on but you can see that I have a channel that's labeled HQI fan and it's on and that's the fan that's um, for the HQI light that's right here okay let's go to the next one I got the skimmer I named another channel skimmer you see that that is on as well the JBJ, that's the Ocean Pulse uh, Duo that I have installed for my hydro pumps, that's on as well. Fan, the fan's on, that's the fan, uh, the computer fan that I have right there. It's telling me how many amps that uh, this PC4 is drawing, it's drawing 0.4 amps for the equipment that it's running. Let's go past that, I have my eye temp, temperature probe. It's reading 75.1. Next is the chiller. This is on the PC4 that's mounted over there. It's saying that the chiller's off. Because remember, you could rename the channels. It'll say channel 1, channel 2, 3, and 4. So I've renamed them so I can uh, I know what each channel is controlling. So the chiller's off. My auto top off ATO is on. Uh, I'll go into more detail about that in a little bit. Channel three, I haven't named this one. This is what it'll look like if you haven't renamed them on the compute using the computer software. Um, I'm using channel three right now to actually power my MacBook because I'm running out of plugs in my room. Um, next channel is pump. The pump is off. That's the pump for my chiller. And it's drawing also 0.4.5 amps. It's telling you that my switch A is open. So my switch A is for my float switch. Switch B is open. I don't have a switch B. It's just going to automatically be default as open. A temperature error. Now over here for the switch A and switch B, it's reading the SL1, the Systems Lab 1. And uh, on the Systems Lab 1, there is a, a temperature input. Since I don't have a temperature probe hooked up to the SL1, it's going to tell you that there's an error. But I have, I have a temperature probe hooked up to my PC4 in the stand, so that's how I'm getting the actual temperature of the tank. And we're back to the pH. Let's take a look at uh, inside my cabinet to see how I have the PC4 hooked up. Okay. Um, first things first, that noise that you're hearing, I've actually installed a fan in here. It's way back there to um, constantly circulate fresh air within my stand so I don't have any CO2 buildup or anything. I built a custom bracket for that out of wood. Um, if you want, you can see pictures of it on my website. Go to the photo gallery section. And there's a step-by-step -step picture of everything I did there. Okay, so let's take a look at the PC4. Over here, get my light. Alright, I have it mounted onto the side of my stand. That was really hard to do, believe me. Um, going from right to left, and channel 4, that's my... Uh, computer fan I have there. The next would be um, my skimmer. 
then with the JBJ and the uh, last is the HQI fan. You can see all four LEDs are lit up, telling you that all the channels are on. If the, if there's an LED that's off, um, that means that channel is not on. All right. Down here, it's kind of hard to see, but I have my SL1 hooked up right there with this float switch. Telephone's ringing. Hope someone picks it up. So I have my float switch set up here, denoting that uh, this should be my minimum water level for when I set up my auto top off. Uh, the float switch is hooked up to the SL1. It's kind of hard to see. Right there, it's a tight squeeze, yes, but um, my hands are small so I can fit it in there. I could hook up the fl any more float switches or make any adjustments if I need, if need be. Um, from there, I have another cable that runs to my PC4 that I have located over here. All right. Um, I have two channels on. Two LEDs are on. Um, you can see I have my uh, RJ11 splitter there. Um, to see a video of that, go to my video list. I did make a modification to it to see how to install it. So go check out my previous video. Um, here I have going from left to right. I have my chiller. Then my um, right now mixing pump for my calc washer that I have in here my macbook uh, charger and the pump for my chiller um, now you're gonna look at this PC4 and you're saying what is this um, Belkin thing doing here on channel 2 the reason I have this Belkin um, basically a surge protector here is that um, this pump doesn't draw enough electricity that I have in my uh, bucket right here. So what happens is when the pump shuts off, the, you know, the LED turns off, but the pump stays on. And I emailed Digital Aquatics about this, and um, they said that the pump gets quote-unquote stuck on because I guess it doesn't use enough electricity. So their recommendation was to buy a surge protector. They sent me a couple different ones that I could buy. I saw this one at Home Depot. I thought it was really good because it's really slim. Uh, extends. I get three plugs out of one plug if I need to put more plugs in there. Um, if it have no problems fitting it between you know, one, two, and three, you know, the space in there to fit all of them. There was a couple other different ones that were really wide. And you know it would just wouldn't fit there, so I picked up this one. It's really really good. Um, but since I put this in, as soon as the um, reef keeper light turns this plug off, it actually shuts the pump off. So I don't have that problem of the pump getting stuck on. So once I set up my auto top off and start um, dosing it, I won't have to worry about the. Uh, pump getting stuck on and overflowing my system. Um, that's a problem that Digital Aquatics knows about and uh, so far this is the only solution. The only other thing to do would be to take the pump that's not drawing enough electricity and put it on either channel 1 or channel 4 and that's the only other solution to this problem is to put it on channel 1 or 4 and that will 100% turn the plug off. I've tried it but um, I want channels 1 and 4 for my chiller and pump. Um, from here, let's go into a little more detail about the actual uh, head unit itself. This right here. Okay, let me get sit down in my chair. 